And welcome back, everybody. Yeah, I'm reading a lot of the stuff down on the table right here, and I was uh, uh, sharing uh, my new book for Black History Month, People to Know in Black History and Beyond, Recognizing the Heroes and Sheroes Who Make the Grade, with Key, who was the 2006 queen of Hal Jackson's Talented Teens, and Hal Jackson is in the book. So she just reminded me, and I was like, wow, I was, I'm his host. Yes, was I hosting were. that night? Yes, you yeah. were. All That's right. why as soon as I saw you, I was like, what a coincidence. Yeah. Like, who's so, interviewing welcome. You? you got something coming up on March the 8th. Yes. Heels and Stretch Class will take place uh, right in the Bronx. And uh, you have all the details. Key, Michelle is in the house. Thank you, thank you, yes, thank you for thank stopping by. thank you for by. having me. I'm, I'm going to tell Debbie Jackson I saw you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do. I would be great to hear from her. Yeah. I need to reach out to her. I'm so happy that I'm here. Um, I do have a class coming up, uh -huh. uh, Heels and Stretch. I started this class about a year ago. Uh, it is focusing on a beginner heels uh, lines and technique class, mm -hmm. followed up with a full on deep stretch for another hour. Wow, okay, and this is nonprofit? Yes, this is all me. Um, I fund everything throughout my well, project. Well, you know, Debbie Jackson still has the Youth Development Foundation uh, through How Jackson's Talented Teens, and maybe, you know, wow. okay. you could talk to her about, you know, funding some of it. I would or definitely give you a scholarship. love to. I mean, I teach in the Bronx, I teach children as well yeah. um, through an after-school program, summer camp program. I also teach adults uh, working out a senior fitness uh, stretching class. That's excellent. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't even know you were coming. Look at this. <laughs> it's a small world. <laughs> it really is. Um, yeah, so I've been teaching through the New York City Parks Department for about eight years. Oh, good. Okay. And that's, um, before that, I was teaching with Robin Williams at the Uptown Dance Academy um, since I was about 14. I've been dancing since I was about seven. Uh -huh. I've studied in a lot of different styles. Something that stuck with me was uh, ballet, stretching mainly from ballet, um, my hip hop. And I got into heels basically because I just always had that sense of wanting to feel empowered, wanting yeah. to feel, I've always wanted to be like a background dancer, things like that. Yeah. Very tall girl. So I just created a class to just fit all of that in one. And you called it heels, heels and stretch? Yes, because in the beginning we do a, a heels choreography before we get into stretching. So just like you would go to a workout class or you would even just go to the gym. You work yeah. out for a while and then you would stretch. And yeah. some people don't know how important stretching oh, is. Oh, wow, you know, you can pull Achilles tendon. You can pull a lot of, and then you'll be out of it for a while. So you yes. have to stretch before you get into, you know, an and intense after. workout. And after. And after, yes. Yeah. That's good. Heels and stretch. All right. Yeah. That's a good name. All right. Make a note of this. Debbie Jackson is mm -hmm. going to be at uh, Carver Bank. Okay. She has a photo exhibit there at Carver Bank on 125th Street on the 29th. So maybe you can meet up with her. Maybe I yeah. can. Thank we'll bring you. bring you guys back I'll together. Bring that in. <laughs> yeah. I'll be doing a book signing there, and she okay. has a photo exhibit there on the 29th. I'll definitely be there. So that's where I know where she's going to be. Uh, on, yes, that, on that yes, date. Thank yeah. you. I'll give you more information afterwards. Okay. But this is great. You're doing. It's, it's wonderful to see a lot of how Jackson's talented teens, uh, international queens, um, just do so many great things. You're out yeah. there. You're working. You're making it happen. I am. I yeah. definitely am. I never gave up with anything. Still yeah. always going to dance. Still always going to teach. Yeah. Mainly. It's always been a love of mine, so I'm just happy to keep going. I'm happy to do this next class in New York City. I also have a class next weekend in Atlanta wow. teaching the same thing. I've been teaching around the tri-state area for about a, a year now. Uh -huh. Yeah, I uh, was teaching with a partner. I'm also teaching by myself, so I'm doing a, a lot right now. Still have my 9-to-5 job here in New York. That's making tough. it happen. You, yeah, you got to make it happen. You got to <laughs> have that guaranteed money and benefits and everything and get this going, too. Because yeah, you're helping others not? get what they need out of life also, and that's definitely, important. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. All right. So uh, you're going to be teaching where? You have something coming up, Heels and Stretch NYC, yes. Sunday, March 8th, from yes. 4 to 6 p.m.? That's going to be at the Bronx Studio of Arts and, uh, sorry, Dance and Arts, uh -huh. uh, around Park Chester area, Tremont. Yeah. It's my first time teaching here, but I'm really excited. Uh, the young lady, Melissa, that booked me there at the studio seems extremely wonderful. Yeah, she has yeah, a, yeah. a program there herself with after-school children, so yeah. I can't wait for this one. There you go. That's over there, 2424 East Tremont Avenue. Yes, it is. Yeah, right here in the Bronx. Well, it's great. I might come down there and just uh, roll up my sleeves and just Why not? It's a two part sleeves, class. Not dance, but watch. <laughs> it's a two part class. I tell a lot of people they get a lot of uh, really scary uh -huh. about it. I also take uh, teach 
an all workout just stretching class. And yeah. I'm just trying to push my heels as well. So that's something I'm picking up more in New York City. Yeah. And students get an opportunity to go where and do what? After, well, after learning from you. Yeah, so like I said, it's a two-part class. So you figure out exactly what you want. I, I love both my heels choreography, my beginner, my lines, yeah. my technique, learning uh -huh. just how to feel comfortable and beautiful in yourself, not dealing with um, people telling you you don't fit a certain criteria uh -huh. to maybe dance in heels or you don't fit a certain look to be what yeah. they consider a uh, commercial dance in heels. So my class is just to get rid of all of that feeling and just come out and still feel and learn from someone who knows the technique and knows the lines. And then, yeah. like I said, that stretching is something I've always had throughout my life. Can't yeah. let it go. It's painful, but I love it, you know? And it helps better you and just really learn your body. Like, a lot of people don't understand how much stretching really improves a oh, lot yeah. growing and growing and getting older like it's a it's it's a struggle you know what I'm saying you wake up one day and you can't reach for something <laughs> and that comes yeah. from not doing it yeah. consistently throughout your life so I just want to get people to really understand the logistics of both yeah and my father always said keep moving keep stretching I'm telling you so and this is for people of all ages uh, well my hills and stretch class I would say this one is about 16 and up um, when I do my full-on stretch classes that I hold at Ripley Greer, Greer Studios in, a, in the city, uh, that one is all ages. I've had children in those classes um, from six years old and oh, up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they have to stretch, too. Y they Although sure do. Run, you know, they they can run all do. day until they fall asleep. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll give you a run for your buddy, that's for right. sure. What is the importance of uh, stretching? I mean, I was an athlete, and I know uh, I had to stretch all the time. Otherwise, if I pull the muscle, I'll be out for like a month or so. Right. So basically, it's, it's to get the alignment as well as your muscles in your body to get used to getting that elastic mm -hmm. feeling. Yeah. Um, like I said, if you don't use it, you're going to lose, lose it. it, you know? If you're not touching your toes every day, of course, when it's, you drop something on the floor, it's going to be harder Hard to, to get down and get it. Get down <laughs> and get it if you're not using your knees and bending down every day. And it's, um, you don't have to get into it as deep as I do. You don't have to be a deep, yeah. full-on stretcher. That's you just know. the love that I have for yeah. it, that I want to keep pushing myself. And you take you know? a group shot and maybe you can't fit in there standing up with everybody. <laughs> you got to <laughs> kneel down in the front. Oh my and goodness. your butt can't get back up afterwards. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so you can practice, Prime example, stretch. right? Yeah, you can stretch and learn how to get back up. Exactly, real quick. and it's so healthy hey, for you. Look, I'm up. Um, so, do you have a website where we can? Uh, well, right in, now I know? only work off my Instagram. I do have a Facebook. I'm not on it as much. So go but to my your Instagram. Instagram and yes. You'll see everything. Yeah, you'll definitely see everything. Yeah. All my links are on top. I'm starting my YouTube page to get people um, interested more in what's wow. going on behind the scenes of my classes. A lot go. of people are really, it's something new. They've never seen this type of class before. So it's like, it's either a hills class or is it a stretching class? Yeah. Like, what is it? So you got to come to find out. And I think March 8th is the perfect time. Yeah. You know, it's always good to see what's happening behind the scenes. So yes. You can see this is how they put it together and this exactly. is what I'm doing to make it happen. So the class is Heels and Stretch NYC. Uh, Sunday, March the 8th, yeah. and it's from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Bronx Studio of Dance and Art, 2424 East Tremont Avenue in the Bronx. Yes. Right? And your Instagram site is? At K-I-I Michelle H. Key Michelle H. Key Michelle, organizer of Heels and Stretch NYC. <laughs> uh, 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 reach. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. We're going to take a You're quick welcome. break right here, but my man Bobby C has the latest in the headlines of the world of sports. Coming up next.